Right, riding in hot temperatures in the summer. We kind of don't have that here in the UK, but you need to get some armor for your body. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator L. So this video is all about motorcycling armored shirts of sorts. Now, back in the day, uh, yeah, the uh, armored trousers uh, were coming out, the kind of Kevlar jeans, those dragon jeans. They came out, and soon after that, then you were able to get your shirt, and it was padded, and it would be like a flannel-type shirt, like a lumberjack shirt. The problem is that every man and his dog then started wearing these flannel shirts. But even before then, uh, you could buy a set of armor that you could put over yourself, zip it up, and but then you'd look like a right dork. Uh, let's be honest about that. Uh, you'd wear it over your t-shirt, and then sometimes you think, okay, should I put a shirt over the top, or do I put a jacket over the top? It didn't quite work. And then you go to your destination, you think, cool, well, at least I was wearing this uh, on the bike ride. Now you're lumbered with that and you look like a bit, a bit of a starship trooper, really, or some kind of uh, warlord from some dystopian adventure. Anyway, I digress. So, when the uh, flannel shirts came out, or the armoured shirts, uh, everyone was thinking, oh, I fancy a bit of that, if you really want to wear a flannel shirt uh, on your motorcycle. Let's face it, when it gets really hot, a jacket, you know, you wear it because you need to wear it, if you really want to wear it. But most riders don't really feel comfortable uh, in that, especially the heavy duty ones. Now you can get the mesh jackets, which are a lot better. But it really comes down to a question of style, whether you want to wear a jacket or not wear a jacket, whether you want to wear armour or not. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd get myself one for this summer. And here it is. Ah! Oh, yeah, it's just in a bag. And actually, this came in a bag like that. It's Biker's Gear Australia. Uh, it's all CE approved, uh, CE armor approved. All really good. And, uh, well, let's just get it out and I'll show you. Now, having a black bag on a black shirt on a black background, I know isn't really going to do a lot. But it comes with armor. Look at that. Well, kind of softy armor. It's all CE approved uh, as well. Look, you've got the CE stamp there. There. Uh, and uh, it's all really good. Now, the reason why uh, I wanted one of these, because it didn't look like the flannel shirts. It didn't look like uh, those checkered lumberjack style shirts that everybody seems to wear. And, you know, I was wearing those about 30 years ago uh, and they were proper <laughs> lumberjack shirts. Uh, not these kind of shirts that have got armor in them. Anyway. Another digress there. Uh, but look, I thought I'd get this. Now, look, there we go. Black shirt on a black background. Uh, what can go wrong? Uh, look, I'm gonna put this armor in it, uh, but I've actually ordered this and I think it's a little bit too big. The link is in the description below. They've got it on offer uh, on Amazon. It all looks good. It's kind of quite thick material. It's all Kevlar lines and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's just, ugh, buttons as well, look. And a zipper. Quite thick material as well. And there we go, Biker's Gear Australia. Now, I ordered the next size up for me for this reason. Okay, and I'm gonna try it out and I'll give you my verdict at the end of the day, whether you should go for the size that is actually for you or the next size up. Uh, because I thought, well, actually, I'm gonna use it as a kind of jacket, but even in the summertime, this is gonna be really heavy duty. Maybe when you get to your destination, you may wanna take it off and fling it over your shoulder. Maybe you wanna have another shirt or another T-shirt underneath as well. Uh, so, you know, you might want to layer up. Let's say it gets a little bit colder on certain summer nights, you might want to put an extra layer on. If it's an oversized one, a little bit better. Um, but, you know, that's all up to you, of course. Right, let's just check this out. Take the buttons. Yeah, good. All very nice. It doesn't have connection loops uh, or anything on the bottom there. It's got back armor, this kind of foam padding, and that'll go in there right there how'd you put this in then all right oh little velcro strap i assume you know you fold this like that. is that the way it goes yes there you go fold it fan it out right it's in uh, a bit of a fiddle i gotta say but look it's in that's all that matters right uh let's do the uh the shoulders and then the elbows 
and you'll know which way the orientation is because the actual stitching uh, is in the same shape as the pad as well. Done. Next one. I find you just fold these in like that and then push it in a lot easier. Good stuff. Now, the elbows. So the elbows, you have to go in through the sleeves. Bit of a faff again. But look, once they're in, they're in. Right, jam that up there. It's in. Right, other side. Oh, that one's a lot easier to go in. Right, uh, let's see if this fits. And I think it's going to be way too big for me. We'll give it a go. Actually, it is big, but possibly not too big. So I would say either go for your size or one the next size up. Possibly your size, probably. Uh, there is a size in chart as well, so that's all good. Look, there we go. Armoured up on the elbows, on the shoulders, on the back. Yeah, it's not 100% proof. Uh, your jacket is probably always going to be a better option. But, you know, riding in the summer, a lot of it is about comfort as well. I'm a great believer in that. And if you want to wear armour, then go for it. You know, it's quite a thick, you know, abrasive resistant kind of material anyway. So that's going to be good for you. Do you know what? I'm, I can see quite a few people just taking their pads out and not even having them. But this, they're not as if they're obtrusive that you know you don't even know they're there so actually from that point of view yeah good right best thing to do let's take this on the bike give it a go yeah but anyway i've kind of resisted these whole uh, armored shirts for many many years uh, so i didn't really like the the flannel type the uh, lumberjack style but you know what i kind of get fed up of riding with a heavy duty jacket in the hotter temperatures and you know it'll be nice to wear something like this you know which is a little bit more lightweight uh, and also you don't look completely out of place uh, you know when you're going somewhere so you can walk around with this and uh, just be kind of incognito which i kind of like really which is good lots of different colors available i'm sure if you're anything like me you probably seek out products that other people are not using or not using that much so if i could only buy a checkered shirt or a lumberjack shirt a uh, flannel shirt then i probably wouldn't have bought one uh, but as it was in plain colors i think there's a green there's a blue uh, version there's quite a few versions uh, on there not just from bikers gear australia of course there's lots available on the market so take your pick but so the link for this one is in the description I think it's well made, well stitched. It, it seems really durable. It fits great. Armour, yeah, a bit of a faff to get in, but afterwards, absolutely fine. Yeah, all right. I feel good. Let's go ride. Right, hope you found that useful. Maybe get one for yourself uh, for the summer riding ahead if you haven't already got one, of course. You know, I'm usually about 20 years behind fashion trends anyway, but you know what, there we go. That's the way it is. Right, anyway, hope you found that useful. Like, share, subscribe, bell, all that kind of stuff. Website, don't forget the website. Lots of videos coming very, very soon as well. So go check those out and all the other ones as well. Ta-da. You know, it's just finished raining and it's pretty cold, but I can hardly feel it at all. It's actually really warm. I'm quite surprised. But at the same time, it's cool as well. It's nice. Yeah, I don't feel restricted by the shirt at all. It's good. I mean, what do you think? Does it look good? I've always liked this kind of clothing that is uh, discreet, that is stout. And whether you got padding in it, armour or not, it kind of just gives you a little bit of peace of mind that you know, well, you know, if you do scrape yourself, then hopefully you'll minimise it a little bit or minimise the damage. But as I always say, you know, instead of investing in protective equipment, just invest in improving your riding skills and your awareness as well. That's got to be right at the top. But overall, I like this. I'm going to be using this a lot during the summer, no doubt. And spring and autumn. Right, so Bikers Gear Australia. Padded shirt or armoured shirt. Yeah. Do you know what? I wouldn't even know I was wearing an armoured shirt. That's how unobtrusive it is, if you know what I mean. I like it. Right, catch you on the next video whenever. Ta-da.